Hello guys, welcome back to my video channel for a time of reviewing. So this is not only a normal review, but this is an unboxing series. Normally, I like to unbox cameras and all these things, but today we have something different. This is not a film camera, but this is a Olympus digital camera called Olympus FE26. So this FE26 series, they will have a 12 megapixel, 3 times optical zoom, 2.7 uh, inch LCD screen. Then there's also intelligence mode, anti-shaking, uh, autofocus tracking, face detection, and also a perfect uh, slot viewer. So let's unbox this camera up. So they always say recommended to use the Olympus, the XZ picture card. So it looks like something like this card or card. Yeah, now these days, this camera card is very very expensive. One GB can cost you fifty dollars right now. It's a highly sought out item right now. So this is a picture card here. So you have this like um, this is called a driver. So this driver, you install this in the PC. So back then there will be a, like, this CD room. So you need to use a CD room and all to actually like like read this CD and also to extract the driver so the, this driver will allow you to read the camera from here because back then you'll be given the wire which is located inside uh, sorry the wire is here this uh, wire the normal USB wire you hook up this to the computer so to in order for the computer to know what camera it is you have to install this driver inside same thing with the printer you need a printer and a driver in order to connect the computer inside the camera and the computer in the PC to read each other so back then, those were the days. And it's an instruction manual here. Then this is the camera, but not forgetting, we also have this. So basically, this is like the macro card, the SD card attachment. So basically, if you got those like small SD card, you put it into it here. Then you can store this um, this uh, adapter here into the memory card slot, and then you are able to read it up um, the memory lah. So basically, this is the thing so the difference between this and this is that um, this one has a pointy edge this one doesn't this is slightly bigger so do not cut away this thing because last time manufacturers right they develop a pin here because they take into account of this like adapter functions and all so you don't need to buy a SD card you just buy a normal SD card you slide it in this thing you go in the camera it can read up ready so Let's review the most important part of the history of this thing is the camera itself. So this camera has a zoom of 6.3mm, wide angle to 18.9mm. So it's a very small zoom only because this is a very small CCD camera. So it's, the picture quality wise is not so really that good. I mean like old vintage style because you cannot expect the camera to be performed like a DSLR and all these things. So you have a maximum aperture range of 5.9, a minimum of 3.1. So it's quite good, quite nice. And it's also very compact also. Look at this. This is my film camera. This is the digital camera, you see? The size difference wise, a lot. It plays a lot of impact. So other than that, this camera is powered by two Double A batteries, which is can be easily get available in supermarkets and all. It makes millions of these bad batteries everywhere. You don't need to go out and hunt. So you can just use this as a normal alkaline battery. It can work ready for the camera. Just put it in. This is positive. This side here is negative. So then this is where you put in your card reader, your card into here. You press it down. But because most of the time, this type of battery felt it's quite dangerous here to go in very carefully because a lot of cases this type of plastic here will break so end up you have to be like on oh, my video I have to put a coin here and then just tape the camera up just carefully you have to press it down set up to turn on this camera there's an on button here so other than that this camera here right you can see to zoom in zoom out is this two button here this T here stands for T means to zoom in, the photo. Then you press the W button to zoom out. So you may be wondering why this camera, sorry, why this camera, the zoom can only go up to here. You see, up to here, but it can actually go further. This means digital zoom. From the image, it slides up again. So how to auto focus is your hard press here. 
da wäre ich Turnier. So if you see green at the sound means it's focus. Yeah, so that means your object will be appear clear. Then this means there is an internal memory of five photos. Then you take the photo, it shows you a picture, uh, a shutter speed and a picture here. So now you have four internal memory left. So up here it shows you the flash function and all these things. So there's no flash mode. P means program mode. This means a fluorescent light and all these things, which you can change later, the light settings and all. This is the ISO settings. So now it's an ISO 100, the lowest and all these things. So now this is a, this is a 12 megapixel camera, but I purposely set it at 5 megapixel. The object here I put here is fine, fine image. So to view the photo that you previously taken is you press this button here. Then you just do you want to move left and right to view the other photos, you press the flower button to move to your previous photo on the left that you take earlier. Uh, press the flash button here to move to the next photo that you took it. That is like quite uh, quite new photo, uh, quite sometimes you just press the right because now there's only one photo here. So you press this is the delete button, you press it up, yes, delete away. So you say there's no photo here. To go back to camera mode, you can either press the half shutter here or you can press this thing here, the camera mode here. It both links you to the photo that you want to, I mean, like the camera itself to take. So other than that, you turn on this button here. So this means you don't want the flash. This means you want the flash. This means red eye reduction. This is auto mode. So normally I test without flash in all these things. So this is where you change in your like the aperture. So plus 0 0.3 means it gets more exposed by 0 0.3. So you can actually play around and view like how much exposure you want for this camera. It can go up to 2.0 as well. So some people will ask, can you go down to minus zero? Yes, it can. It can go up to negative. So your photo, even if you reach negative means that your exposure means it get darker and darker and darker. So you can select like what type of exposure you like based on the object and the details. So other than that, I just set at I will just set it at around just this is just a review only. Uh. I just put it as a normal temperature like normal. This means macro mode. So macro mode means you put that you want need to like go up to the object near and to set it up okay. Normally I off unless you're like taking flowers or close up object, use macro mode. So just now you see right how I move the flash right, I move this button. This means to go left, this means to go right. Then this is the uh, self timer. So self timer will be 10 seconds. So how it works wise. If you just press, you can see the red button here. It's a 10 second timer. So I wonder you can see not ah uh, yeah. Yep. So then you have the image of the object. Lah. You can see my handphone there and the shutter speed. So other than that, you press the OK function, you see the like the light settings and all these things. Fluorescent, fluorescent tree and all these things. You can play around the light settings and all. Like cloudy mode, sunny mode and all these things. Auto balance, normally I go for auto. Then over here, the top left here, you can see other functions like auto balance, you can go to ISO, you can increase the ISO up to 200, 400, 800, and 1006. So what does the ISO means? Means you increase the ISO means the object get more like grainy and all these things. High ISO means like high noise. So it's useful for like those environments that is dark and all these things. Normally if it's a sunny weather, hot weather, you go for like around 100 to 200. So other than that, over here is where you change your megapixel. So you can see the pictures left. If you go up to the highest VGA and all these things, normally you goes up. This like VGA means the basic of all, basic of all. So you normally get up to like 74 photos. If you go up to a higher MB, you need to get up to one, two is you get 12, three is you get seven, five megapixels you get four, and then uh, 12 you need to get one. So normally, because now it's internal memory, I'll go for two for testing only. So other than that, the image object here you can find to go for fine or normal. Normal means you can take up more picture. Fine means it's much more clearer, much more HD. 
So other than that wise, you go for the display mode here. Display mode is where you change up your like the settings. Like just like on the grid, you can remove the grid by taking off this way. Then you don't want any object, any disturbance, you press this. Then you press up this for the grid mode and all. Yep. So other than that, function wise, all these things is quite easy to play around. I recommend this camera. To turn off this camera is just simple, just press the, the button here. And the lens will go back up and you just pop it in back again. So this is a very lightweight, very simple and very hard to build camera. I would recommend this for those who are interested in CCD camera and all. This is a very good camera for you to use. Trust me, you enjoy it very much. Anyway, we reach to the end of this video. Give a thumbs up, like and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming camera review videos. Thank you very much and wish you a good day. Bye.